Hi everyone, I am today with uh, this lovely lookalike of mine. His name is Vinit Rai. <laughs> People call him my brother, which he is from another mother. And uh, he lives in India, Mumbai, I Mumbai, think. Yes. Mumbai, yes. And uh, he is here in Silicon Valley doing impact investment, fundraising. Yep. So tell us what is impact investment? So <clears throat> before I actually get into what is impact investing, let me take you through an example of what I believe is impact investing. So look at this uh, slide. This is actually about uh, rag pickers trying to take waste out of complete, uh, basically taking out useful waste from large sites of waste. Uh, this the is what Indian recycling factory. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, this is what you can call an Indian recycling factory, but this is actually a very humiliating activity yeah. to be engaged in. Uh, more so because all the waste management uh, in India at this point of time is lifting and shifting. The government pays enormous amount of money for people to move waste and then create mountains. We wanted to actually solve this problem and we were looking for people who have some kind of a business model. Met two young guys who actually were working with the uh, rag pickers and trying to create what we call is a very localized aap usko kabadi wala bhi bol sakte hain a localized they would actually do a very honest uh, engagement with the rag pickers and they will pick their business up we thought there is no engagement of the government there is somebody trying to deal with waste they this is they work only with dry waste which is really the problem here this is plastic paper polythene sheets etc uh, we gave them three crores and tried to actually uh, scale this business up. Now, this is a very simplistic business. Three crores is a lot of money. Uh, generally, what money does is it actually makes you do the easy thing first. So, converting three crores of cash into waste is easy, which is what my friends did. <laughs> they worked hard and they basically bought in a lots and lots of waste. What they forgot is that you don't need to only buy waste, you have to process it. Now, waste is a complex commodity. It's a large number of things segregated into recycling. And therefore, once they've bought so much of waste, they could not actually convert it into a process it, which meant Diwali came, there was a fire, and my three crore became three kg of ash. Hmm. Normally, an investor should run away, but that's what impact investing is about. One, you're trying to solve a complex, scalable problem. And when things go wrong, you don't run away. So we had a discussion with the promoters and we said we have to start again, which they did. But we have to start, but this time operate in a manner that we can scale 100 times or 1000 times. So from 500 kg per day, we wanted to do 100 tons per day. For that to happen, we needed to look at technology as a solution and mechanize the whole thing. So while we continue to actually buy waste, but we went into mechanization process. And that mechanization went into actually sorting every problem that was required to process. So we bought mechanical sorters, optical sorters, uh, created a fairly high mechanized plant. And in three and a half years, we went from 500 kg to 100 tons per day. The most mechanized waste management plant in India. We generate, last year they generated a turnover of 30 crores. This year they will cross 70 crores. Uh, since we, since that's the time, 700,000. No, that's a million. 70 dollars. is 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars. Yeah, so they are already 5 million dollars last year. They will do 10 million dollars. We have invested another 10 million dollars in them and we expect them to actually scale up to 500 tons, which will effectively mean, and this is all backed by a high tech backend, <coughs> uh, a very strong ERP, so we can track every movement of waste. Uh, and this company is currently recycling is the only circular economy company in the country. And more interestingly, the waste actually goes into following things. The Nike t-shirt that you wear is made out of our recycled waste. Some of them. Some of those. Uh, if you, Hopefully uh, not all. No, the ones that actually require a little bit of plastic in it. Okay. So those, those things go there. Ultimately, India has a full circular economy. So you need to, the Peps Coke, the Pepsi's and others will need to track down where their bottles and waste is going. And this company is probably at this point of time, the only company with the ability to do traceability. And we are expecting this company to actually reach 1000 crores or roughly $200 million in revenue in next three to five years. Wow. List it, you work with poor people, you solve a very large problem and you build a very profitable company. That's what impact investing is all about. My job is to take risk. What I call, we take extraordinary risks to deliver ordinary businesses. 
and Monastery. so you actually work with them as a as so we a give the money or? we 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 are the capital providers and we are the risk takers and we are also uh, people who work with them shoulder to shoulder so when the fire happened we realized we did an analysis and realized it's actually not the buying but the processing but processing requires uh, cannot be done on a human basis because of the scale you need to bring in mechanized uh, this thing ultimately kisi bhi cheez ko change lane ke liye you have to bring in the best uh, thought process and technology this is not to take rack pickers out we actually engage rack pickers as our core workers uh, and we have scaled up we believe we will be working with 30000 rack pickers and uh, in the real scenario we don't want anybody to be a rack picker going forward so this company's job is to actually make that waste disappear uh and in doing so we will also hopefully have nobody wanting to be or forced to become a rack picker hmm. so this is one of your portfolio companies this is one of my portfolio company and how many companies are you funding right now we have 60 companies right now of its 24 we have exited uh, uh do we lose companies yes because we are the first investor in most of them so avishkar which is a fund that i founded uh, claim to fame is we are the first investor and we take very large risk in solving large social scalable problems to bring about a change beautiful do you have any question no all right thank you vinit for doing the amazing work